Minnesota opened this Saturday's matchup with Green Bay at plus seven on the spread, while the Pack's laying 300 betting units for some money line cash. Thanks for tuning in, my friend. I am B Rock, and I'm loving, once again, I'm loving the total points and the money line cash in this game, and you will find out why. In addition to the spread and the money line, I got the total points opening up at 43 and a half, while currently 76% of the money's on Green Bay. Speaking of Green Bay, I'm looking at mostly cloudy skies with a te temperature of 33 degrees by the one o'clock kickoff. Moving on, I got some slight movement of the line so far as the spread's currently posted at Green Bay minus six and a half, while the OU dropped half a point to an even 43. Pleasantries aside, let's break down both teams' performance against the spread. Minnesota is only one out of three. They've only covered one out of three as the underdogs on the road. In addition, when Minnesota faces teams allowing 21 to 25 points a game, they've covered a measly two out of six games this year. Disparaging records aside, the Vikes do indeed have marquee covers over Dallas, New York Giants, Green Bay, and Tennessee this year, although the latter did in fact occur at the beginning of the season when they were a completely different team. On the other side of the ball, let's break down Green Bay, who thus far has gone 7-6 and six with a push overall against the spread this year. When the Pack's at home, they're a solid 4-2 and two with a push, and they're 3-2 and two with a push as the official home favorites. When the total points are around 43, Green Bay is 3-2 and two with a push against the spread, as well as covering 75% of their games versus teams with a 400-55 to 55 win percentage. 400 to 550 win percentage. Right in the midst of our four game, the, the four-game hot streak, straight up, Green Bay has marquee covers over Seattle, Atlanta, and Detroit this year. Now, given the aforementioned, I'm still a little bit leery of betting the spread straight up in this one. I'm going to have to tease it with some other games for about seven points. But regardless, this is a pick show. So let's take the Green Bay Packers laying six and a half for the win on the spread. Speaking of Green Bay, they are in fact favored quite densely on the money line, currently laying 300 betting units, and once again are one of the hottest teams in the NFL right now in the heart of a four game straight up winning streak. Green Bay has been the epitome of efficiency possessing the 10th ranked offense in the league, as well as the 10th ranked passing offense as well. They're going to need it as the sputtering Vikings do in fact have the third ranked defense in the NFL, despite their inability to win football games. Furthermore, Minnesota is second to last in total offense and they are dead last in the league in rushing. AP, no AP, doesn't really matter. I'm loving, once again, I'm loving the Green Bay Packers to win outright for some money line cash. Moving on, there's one more potentially lucrative bet I made on this game, and that's the total points, which at the time of my original pick Monday morning was at 43 and a half. Both teams have collectively averaged 40 total points in their last four games, respectively. In addition, Minnesota's stifling defense has forced them under the line in four out of their last five games. Given that information, I am loving, once again, I am loving this bet, and I got to take the under 43 and a half total points in this one. In summary, I got to take Green Bay laying the six and a half and winning it straight up with the under 43 and a half. Well, folks, that's going to do it for me. Thanks for tuning in. Best of luck to you with your future picks. And have a positive day.